by a series of waveforms stored in a file and downloaded on a smartphone or a computer. No, I'm an organic individual existing in a particular place at a particular time, and I'm part of the last generation of people who exist in this way. Physical books are still the main way I educate and entertain myself, but how long will this way of living last? This analogue life. The cupboards and drawers in my home are filled with objects and pieces of paper which I cherish, small diaries filled with tightly written poetry and prose, sketches made during fleeting treasured moments, letters from friends and lovers, party invitations, black and white photographs I printed in the red light of long dismantled dark rooms, coins and cufflinks, stamps and old passports. These are the fragments and talismans of a life lived. But as our lives are increasingly lived online, our conversations and the images we produce are almost entirely digital, and we stop creating these casual icons of meaning. Our lives are neater, our homes are smaller, and we store less of the ephemera from our past. But in becoming free from all this material, are we now less romantic? In being more rooted in the present, are we less likely to remember the incredible journeys we've been on? I have a feeling that we're not now just forgetting our own personal histories, we're forgetting wider histories and contexts as well. Our digital life is always changing and is constantly updated. The past is photoshopped, colorized and animated to make it more palatable to modern eyes. Whereas the analog life remains a little scratched and imperfect, just as it always was. There's something so magical about a handwritten letter, the indentations preserving a trace of the person who held the pen which they pressed into the paper, a faint odour perhaps of the perfume or cologne rubbed into the page as their hand passed over it, a memory of the breath on the envelope as they sealed it. I won't be throwing away the paraphernalia of my analogue life. These things give me something an email or a file on a computer never can.